Hi folks, welcome to Heart of the Home at Harris Farm. We're back at the farm and today's show is all about memories. Memories of my childhood and memories of my guest childhood. Today I am so blessed. Rita Pearson, the best singer left on this oh, earth, who um, actually, I've been listening to you only what, two years? Yes. Maybe two mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. But you stepped into my life when um, another anniversary had just begun. We had just begun shooting Heart of the Home about two years mm -hmm. ago. So that's two anniversaries. We're going to have my anniversary is meeting you and my anniversary on Heart of the Home. Mm -hmm. Now today's show, we are going to talk about memories and we're going to talk about a little bit of a sad memory because I lost my senior producer. I took my baby girl to Alaska yeah. and she stayed. Oh. But she has a wonderful job at NBC KTUU and we are so proud of her. We are so yeah. proud. Yeah. She called right before we started shooting today and uh, said, tell everybody here hello, and um, the one thing she's gonna miss, now that's the only thing about Alaska I'm not crazy about, they don't know a lot about gospel music. Oh, well, that's sad. That's sad, <laughs> so you and I need to go up there, and we could spend a month, Yeah. and you could sing and I could cook. Yeah. That's a good plan. <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> that's a good plan. Now, my memories of the first time I heard Vestal sing, what is it, God Walks the God Dark walks Hills? Dark Hills. I was in Shake Rag, Georgia. I went there every summer to my cousin Winnell Blackwell's house. They lived at Versanoa Farms, and I grew up in the city, so farm life was just wonderful for me, and I just couldn't wait to go visit there. I never heard gospel music. Wow. And on the mornings, was it singing Jubilee? Right, on Sunday mornings. On Sunday mornings, mm -hmm. Winnell would get up, she would be making biscuits in a big bread bowl, she would turn that radio or that TV as loud as you could wow. get it, and there would be Vestal. So the day I was in Bryson City, mm -hmm. I was back in the back talking to some of the guys. I heard you come on stage and sing that. I didn't know who you were. And I looked up and I said, oh my gosh, who is that lady? I've got to go meet her. I said, that is my favorite all-time song. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I couldn't tell the difference in you and her. Thank you. That's it an was, honor. That's it an was honor. awesome. And I said, every time I hear it, I still can't tell the difference in y'all. That's a good thing. Yes, That's thank a good you thing. so much. Now, yeah. did you, you're um, in your 50s, same thing as I, I am. am. So, yes. so did you grow up with her music? I did. I did. My dad and mom would take me to Atlanta to the all-night singings, mm -hmm. and, and I would just sit there and just like, wow, what a voice, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And course when I started and what a lady yeah and such a, a devout Christian mm -hmm, I mean mm -hmm. she was great awesome mm -hmm. but I can remember growing up in my little church where dad would say you open up and you sing girl don't you whisper around mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so you know that's the only way I know to sing mm -hmm. and so a lot of people I think compare me to her because of the the strong oh yeah vocal oh, yeah. you oh, know yeah. that she oh, has yeah. but yeah. If I live to be her age and can still sing oh, was she like her, awesome? oh, she's great. You know, I only saw her live one time. I saw her two weeks before she passed away. Mm. We were in Atlanta at Phillips Arena, and it was my 50-something birthday, and a friend had gotten us tickets. Wow. And I was starstruck. I mean, I just thought this woman is still as wonderful today as I remembered all my life. Right. Yeah. And I thought how awesome it was. And I, was she in her 70s when she was? She was in her 70s, yeah, yes. Yeah, she and was. still entertaining. And, and it wasn't entertainment to her, it was getting a message across. Right, and, that was, and that's, what yes, yes. that's what that's you what do. Yes, that's what I always want to do. And we've talked about that before. Mm -hmm. I don't like to be entertained at gospel no. singings. I want to get a message. Yes, ma'am. And, and I have talked to Matt Dibler about this a lot because he preaches and he sings. Right. And he said, you know, what if I had to give up one? I said, well, son, don't you give up that singing because you reach so many people with that mm -hmm. singing. That's true. And and the message the message of the music, y'all, is it down by the river? Yes. Uh -huh. Love. That. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. love it. Thank now, you. Now, your baby son, Corey. Corey. Does yeah. he write some of your music? He writes the uh, the melodies, but mm -hmm. <clears throat> my husband Jimmy writes most of our songs. Mm -hmm. And of course, he and Corey together work together, you know. But right. uh, Jimmy does most of our write songwriting. So I have heard so many people in the music industry tell Corey he is he is one of the best. 
He is one of the best. Well, naturally, I think so, and we're so blessed to have him because mm -hmm. he's had so many opportunities right. to go with other people. Why would so, he want to leave y'all? Well, that's what I say, <laughs> too, but <clears throat> I'm thankful that he has stayed with us because yeah, he yeah. feels like that's where God wants him to right, be. Right. So. And, and isn't it wonderful? We're, one of the recipes, we're going to do something today called Peas in a Pod. And it is, if you use your Thanksgiving leftovers, you can make this recipe. When you travel on a bus, you're like peas in a pod. Right. And we learned, we just, we took a trip to Alaska. I took seven friends with us and our production crew, and we shot five shows in Alaska. Wow. Now, to travel well together, you have to be peas in a pod. Mm -hmm. You have to get along. You have to love each other. You do. You have to enjoy 24-7 company. You and that's do. that's tough, isn't it? Mm, yeah. My husband and I spent many years in tractors and trailers. Oh. Now that's tough. That's I can tough. Imagine. And and at four o'clock in the morning, he would look back. And he'd say, "Get in the sleeper and go to sleep." And I'd say, "I can't. I'm claustrophobic." Yeah. And I couldn't. So, so on the bus, do y'all have bunks? Do you have? We do. Well, I stay in the back lounge. Um, I'm claustrophobic as well. See, and Me, I just uh, cannot crawl in one of those bunks. I talk to myself and I would do it, but I have to get back out and. The lounge area's got sofas, so uh -huh. I'm, I right. feel better back right. there. It's funny, but but you know, and, and being in a tractor and trailer, you would think I'd gotten used to it. I never did. I never uh, did. So. I don't think I could either. So. Well, well, there are certain things you don't have to get used to. Now, one of the things that I have collected all the years of my life, along with gospel music, are Coca-Cola items. Mm -hmm. And today, I thought about doing a Coca-Cola recipe, but because it is just after Thanksgiving and we have Thanksgiving leftovers, I decided we're going to use a recipe that you make the cutest little cups with crescent rolls and turkey and dressing and your leftover cream potatoes and English mm. peas. And it's one of those things, I make this and my kids can take it to the go-kart track because it's a little meal in itself. Mm. And a couple of weeks ago when I made it, they loved it. And mm. I thought, this is awesome. So, so I wanted to do a Coca-Cola recipe because we're in my Coca-Cola kitchen. And <laughs> I just decided, no, we're going to use Thanksgiving leftovers. Yeah. Now, do you cook Thanksgiving dinner? I do. I always do. I, well, we usually eat early because we leave for Florida. We always do a thing down uh -huh. there that we've done for years. So uh -huh. I cook early. But yeah, I do. You do. I do. Yeah. Well, yeah. and you do the traditional thing. I do the traditional. Good, good. Yes, See, I do very traditional. Mm -hmm. My mama did not. Mama did very unusual things. Oh really? And I'm very traditional and, yeah. and that's one of the things about doing today's show at the farm. We love the tradition and we love the idea that we are at Harris Farm. We've been here since 1860, not me, but the farm's been wow. here since 1860. And guys, when we come back, Rita and I are going to talk a little bit more about the farm. We're going to talk about your career and how long okay. you've been doing this okay. and how much you enjoy what you do. Okay. So y'all hang around. We have a short commercial break and we'll be right back. Hi folks, welcome back to Harris Farm. My guest Rita Pearson and I are talking about memories. Right. And your music has made some wonderful memories for me in the last couple of years. And um, this farm made memories for many family members. Now, do you have recipes, like family recipes? I do. And I in do. the holidays, do you mm -hmm. use those I recipes? Do. I do. And my mom was always very traditional cooking uh -huh, too. Uh -huh. So thank I love, goodness. See, I love that. Yeah, and thank goodness. Uh, but you know, used to I'd say, Mother, how now? How much of this? Do you? She'd say, Just a little this, a little that. You know. I don't measure. And so that's been hard for me because I'm not hard. as good a cook as she was. So now, is your mom still with you? My mom passed away okay. six years ago. Matter of fact, see, around my Christmas. mom passed away six years ago. Is that right? Yes. Wow. Yes. Isn't that something? Yeah. And and there are still days I want to call my mama. Oh yeah. You know, and I said it's so funny when my sister made me this cookbook, which is my favorite gift ever. It's pictures of my mom and oh, wow. and my stepmom, and and one of the things that happened to us as children, my parents got a divorce when I was about eight years old. Mm -hmm. And my sister and I didn't get to see each other for 35 years. Oh, wow. So when we got to see each other again, it was accidental and it was accidental because of Coca-Cola. Wow. My, my husband, who sometimes prodded me into doing things, said one Sunday afternoon, do you want to go look for that Coke clock you're looking for? And I said, I don't know. And it was a Sunday afternoon. We were watching Dale Earnhardt race. You know, I didn't want to leave that. <laughs> and, and I said, I guess we will. We walked into a flea market in Cartersville, Georgia, and I was looking at a clock. And I turned around to the man who owned the little booth, and I said, sir, I said, tell me a little bit about this clock. And he said, well, I don't know a lot about it, but these guys can help you. And I turned around. <clears throat> the men he were talking about were my two twin brothers. 
I hadn't seen him in 35 years. Wow. I looked at him and I said, you're Fred, you're Steve, and you're my brothers and I'm Sherry. And they said, what? And it was like, how did you know it was us? And I said, I would never forget it. So we exchanged mm. phone numbers. We lived 59 miles apart. Wow. Because when our parents got a divorce, they, we lived in Florida. Mother brought the two youngest children. We came back to Georgia. So mama worked for Coca-Cola. My soon-to-be father-in-law had worked for Coca-Cola. My brothers that I didn't even know were around collected Coca-Cola. So Coca-Cola has been a big part of right. our family. Yeah. And, and, and recipes, sharing recipes. So my sister who doesn't collect Coca-Cola, and to be quite honest with you, thinks we're silly. <laughs> but my brothers and I do love Coke. She made me this cookbook. And, and when she gave it to me, she said, you'll notice there aren't any Coke recipes. <laughs> so I bought myself a Coke yeah, recipe book. Neat. But, but, but it, is, it is funny because the memories, my sister and I hadn't seen each other in 35 years. Wow. But we make potato salad alike. We both love gospel music. Great. We love Bryson City, North Carolina. So, so many things from our childhood came to now. You awesome. Know? It wow. was wonderful. I was 40 when I got to see her again, wow. or, or 43. And uh, it was wonderful. And I said, you know, memories are what life is all about. Yes, it and, is. And the good memories of having your mom, the yes. sad memories of losing your mom. Mm -hmm. But every time I cook mama's sweet potato surprise, I think about my mama. Sure. You know, yeah. and I think about, I believe mine was a little bit better than hers today. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't use, I don't measure. And that's hard because teaching my children to cook, right. they'll say how much. Don't See, that was my mom. She it's very did that hard. too. Yeah. yeah. Well, when we did the Habitat for Humanity cookbook, it was very hard to turn my cooking techniques into recipes. Oh, and yeah. and like what I'm going to make today, there's no recipe. By to the way, it. I love that cookbook. Do you? I well, love it. Yeah, I, we I do. have done we have done very well with that cookbook, oh, and I love well, it. That's it's great. simple. It's simple. That's what I like about and that, it. <laughs> that's me. I have to be simple. And you know, I have kids, and mm -hmm. I have grandchildren, and I don't have a lot of time for preparing and running to markets and buying this and this and right. this. I try to do simple things that everybody can do. I think that's why I've so, enjoyed it so much. I think so. Yeah. I had a guy drive down from Tennessee last week who came to get three. He had bought one and they've shared the recipes and now his sister-in-law's wanted it. And mm -hmm. I said, it's you know, it is basic and it's simple. Right. But converting it to recipes right. is hard because mm -hmm. I'm not much of a recipe girl. <laughs> so, but I know when it's right. Yeah, you know, that's and, the and main you thing. Know, that's right. Now, if you make dressing, can you tell it's like your mama's? Pretty much, because I keep tasting, mm -hmm. you know, I just right. keep tasting, right. and I remember all the ingredients that uh -huh. she would put in it, mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. yes, and I've been told it tastes like mother, so yeah. that's a good yeah. thing, yeah. you know. And, and that's such a compliment. It is, it is. It does is. Corey remember your mom? He yeah. does. Um, matter of fact, he was, she was like a mama to him, because uh -huh. she lived with us the last oh. 17 years she lived, okay. and uh, a lot of days when he'll walk in, he'll say, Smells like Mima's cooking here, oh, you know, sweet. so that, that makes me feel good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did she love gospel music? Loved it. And such a supporter and oh. encourager, you mm -hmm. know, the last right. three years she was sick and um, I'd hate to leave her, you know, mm -hmm. and she'd say, no, you go. Yeah, You've got yeah, something yeah, to do, yeah. you go. So. Because you do, and, and that's the thing I love about you, you deliver a message every time you step on stage. Thank you. There's, there's no entertaining about you. There's nothing, you know, it's just a message. And it is a wonderful message. And that's so, what we want it to be because right. uh, I was sharing with someone last week, there's so many people that are looking for happiness mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it's there. Mm -hmm. You know, all they right. got to do is just right. look. That's right. He's there. See, I had that problem when I lost my mom and my husband six weeks from each other. Mm. I thought, God can't do this to me. And God, you know, one of them died, the other one will surely make it. Mm -hmm. And and he didn't, you know. So I lost two of them within six weeks of wow. each other. I cried, I wallowed, I, I was in self-pity. It was terrible. And I'm then I sure. said, hey, get over this. You know, get ready, you're gonna go to heaven too. That's so right. deal with it. And I did. And dealing with it made it easier by oh, yeah. listening to people like you. Mm -hmm. And and I would listen to happy songs that I knew were the truth. Right, you know? exactly. And I said, that's what it was all about. That's what it was it's all about. It's and, and it literally, the gospel music from you and the inspirations and several other groups that I really, really like brought me out of a deep depression. I'm so, so glad. And the deep I'm depression so is gone, honey. Thank I'm God. I'm so happy. Thank God. You can <laughs> yeah, see it exactly on YouTube. Right. That's right. And I am, I'm, I'm, I'm happy every day of my life because right. there's something good about every yes. single day. 
Now, it is. we've got a good recipe that wasn't a recipe at all until I had leftover Thanksgiving stuff. Uh -huh. And we're going to put that together when we come back, and then we're going to enjoy it. And it's called peas in a pod. Wow. So peas in a pod is a good idea, whether you're traveling on a bus with your family right. or whether you're traveling to Alaska with your family. <laughs> so y'all hang around. We'll be right back. Hi, folks. Welcome to Harris Farm and Heart of the Home. And Rita, the heart of the home really is the kitchen, isn't oh, it? Oh, yes, it is. It is. And, and this kitchen has made many meals for many family members and friends mm -hmm. for years. And now for gospel singers who come to visit. Good. So today I'm going to teach you the easiest recipe ever. This okay. is the rakings and scrapings of Thanksgiving dinner. Yum. Cream potatoes, turkey and gravy, a little bit of dressing, and English peas. Now, I love Lasur English peas. I do too. That's, we used to think that was a luxury because Mama could buy them <laughs> peas in that silver can. So we take a crescent roll, and if you want to open some, okay. I've already fixed some that I'm going to be assembling. You basically line your muffin pan, you spray it with Pam, and then line it with your crescent roll. And I start with cream potatoes in the bottom of the crescent roll and kind of rub it up on the sides. Mm -hmm. And this is called peas in a pod. And it's because, you know, we talked about it earlier. Traveling on a bus is like peas in a pod. Oh, yes. <laughs> Traveling to Alaska to shoot Heart of the Home was definitely like peas in a pod. And I just thought, what would I do with my Thanksgiving leftovers? And this seemed like a great idea. And it really did turn out. The Sounds kids really loved good. it. Now, last time I did use the larger crescent rolls, and I think I liked that better. Mm -hmm. um, a couple of the ladies thought it was a little bit more bread than they needed. And dumb me, you know, bought the smaller ones this time. I wish I'd bought the larger rolls again mm -hmm. because I think it looks nicer. But, you know, whatever, whatever your preference is. Right. If you want to do... Um, the larger ones, if you want to do it with biscuits and take the top off the biscuit mm -hmm. and then do it like that, you can do that. And remember guys, don't run out and buy stuff. Use things you already have, right. like your Thanksgiving leftovers. And you know, is there anything any better than turkey and dressing the next day? Always the best. Always the best. Yeah. And we have got the, we're going to have cranberry sauce, we're going to have a light salad with it, and this is going to be our meal. It's going to be a nice light meal, mm -hmm. but it's going to be good, and it's going to help us clean out the fridge. So, and I think I will next time. I think I'll go with the larger rolls. I think that's going to make more sense. So, don't you? I like that extra bread to put on top. Uh -huh. It kind of closed it up. So, this is neat. Now, Rita and I are going to continue assembling these, and we're going to bake them at 350 for about mm -hmm. 10 minutes. And these will be this, and our salad will be our meal. And we didn't do dessert today. And you know, I'm famous for life is short, eat dessert first. I didn't even do a dessert, guys. <laughs> but that's okay, that's okay. Isn't this an awesome way to use your leftovers? I know, I love it, I love it. So cute, so cute. I did it for the boys at the house one day after Sunday dinner, and they loved it. So, isn't that neat? Mm -hmm. And these are real cream potatoes, I might add. We didn't use instant <laughs> potatoes, so that's a neat idea. That is a cute idea, isn't it? And if you want to cook the frozen peas, you could do that, but mm -hmm. we do. We just use the little lesser peas. And I said, I think one of the kids said, this is kind of like Thanksgiving in your mouth all at one time. It is. So it's a neat idea. It's a neat idea. And well, it's easy. I'm, it's easy. It is. It is. It's easy. Now, there you go. This looks so good. Mm -hmm. And it smells good. Wow. And it is something, you know, you could do it with uh, your leftovers from Sunday dinner. Oh, yeah. If you don't have Thanksgiving leftovers, just anything. And, you know, you might do it with ham and sweet potatoes, mm -hmm. too, if you have that That's for a good Easter idea. or Christmas. Yeah. It's a very good idea. Yeah, yeah. And we've got these just about ready to go in the oven. I'm not We're as fast well. as you are. That's okay, honey. I started. I cheated <laughs> just a little bit. You just keep working on it. Okay, y'all, hot out of the oven. Peas in a pod. We look like peas in a pod. Yes, we do. Friends and holidays, and that's what everything is all about. That's Life right. is about sharing your time with friends and holidays. Uh -huh. Angela, get our peas in the pod out of the uh -huh. oven. Okay. I think y'all are going to like this, and I think you're going to be proud of me because this recipe was in my brain a week ago. Yay. And now it's on TV. Yeah, no. So there Ooh. you go. Now, doesn't that look good? Yeah. Good. And it's hot. Now, Miss Rita, we are going to serve this with a little side salad. Okay. And I think y'all are going to like this. Smells Ooh, good. Smells good. Mm. 
See, two of these little bad boys is kind of like having a mini Thanksgiving dinner in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Woo, that's hot. Now, guys, this has been a great day. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank I you love you so me. much, and I, I appreciate you, you coming. Girls, I love now remember, <laughs> tune in every time you get a chance. Go see the diplomats Thank you. and enjoy some of the best gospel music performed by one of the best groups in the Thank world. You. I, I've enjoyed this so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Now, y'all, we're going to share some food. Hang on to that one. Pass it down. Mm -hmm. And y'all, try this recipe. And we have great guests. Great Thank guests you. today. I love you so much. I love you too. Thank you. Try our recipes and check Rita's music out. I promise you, you will not be disappointed in either one of us, will they? No. no. <laughs> Stop by Harris Farm Thank again, you. guys. We'll be here, and we want you to be here too. Check us out on the internet. We're there 24-7. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm Rita Pearson with The Diplomats, and it's been a great day here at the heart of the home with Miss Sherry. It's just been wonderful. And I love Southern gospel music, and so I want you to sit back, enjoy, and listen to this song. Thank you. 